Hey YouTube, this is Dave, and today I'm going to show you how to sideload the Pandy app, the Pandy 0.0.5-2. And what you have to do is pretty much you gotta you can use iFile to do this, but you you can also use on the Mac the iExplorer app, and uh, you can get this at a trial basis. And uh, what it does is if you have your phone jailbroken, you can get into the root folder of your iOS device and what this is needed because we have to go into the library folder and put a couple of files in there and uh, these files you can get off of any iOS device running 6.1 uh, you know because that's what I have uh, I guess if you have two devices that have 5.1.1 then you can do that but uh, you should stay with the 6.0's or the 5.0's and uh, do this and uh, I have an iPhone 5 and my wife has an iPhone 4 so it worked and uh, I'm gonna show you what it's all about now if um, I'm gonna make this full screen hold on, and I'm gonna show you what we have on our device here see now Pandora downloader if you click on Pandora and you have the Pandy app installed you're gonna see some animation and it tells you to tap to import into the uh, orange app there or it's going to tell you to dismiss, swipe to dismiss. Um, and you'll get all these songs on your iPod, and then you can upload them uh, to your iTunes account and uh, have it as purchased. So uh, what you have to do is you have to go into um, Cydia and get iFile uh, if you plan to go that way, because iFile allows you to send over Bluetooth uh, files from one iFile to another iFile. But we're not going to use that today. It's it's quite easy to do, but it's a, a bunch more steps, and I think iExplorer will be better. Um, also, you want Pandora Downloader. Uh, that's the downloader, the uh, purplish one there. And what that does is uh, it allows you to do unlimited skips and all that stuff. Now, settings is there because we can go into settings and see that you have Pandy uh, in your settings so that you can switch to uh, tap to import or automatically import all. Uh, but I was having a little trouble with that. Uh, I transferred all the files over uh, to the iPhone 4. And what I did was I made these little stickies here. And this is pretty much the folders you have to put them in. Uh, you have to put them in all these folders here. And like, for instance, I have Pandy. And I copied over these two files and made a Pandy folder and put that into library application support pandy. I'll show you a little bit more in a second. Library, mobile subscreen, uh, dynamic libraries. And so pretty much you gotta do two files, two files, seven files, and one file. And uh, I'll show you, this one goes into this folder, but inside this folder, you'll see the two files that you need there. And inside of this folder, you'll see the seven files that you need in here. and uh, in this folder you're gonna have one file and that's what you need in there and we created these folders but a lot of times other apps create these folders so you might not necessarily need them but at least I give you the whole hierarchy and you're asking yourself how the hell does he know this and the reason I know this is because when you go into Cydia and you open up Cydia and you're about to install an app if you go into uh, there's a section there it tell you what is going to be installed on your device a lot of people may not know this, but uh, that's pretty much, you know, what you can do. So let me show you. If you go into Packages, yeah, let me make that full screen again. If you go into Packages and you go down to the Pandy app and you open up Pandy. Now, if you scroll, you will see File System Content right there. So if you click that, and what's going to do, it's going to show you what's going to be installed on your device. Uh, it's going to be, you know, a little bit longer. But I copied that over and I put it on the desktop for everybody to see, uh, you know, the file system and what's going to be installed. So let me close this out and I'll show you I have it saved here. And I have our little reminders and I have set up a bunch of folders. Now, all these, this is the iPhone 5 now. I'm in the root folder. So if I go to library and I pretty much uh, scroll down to application support right here and uh, this is me getting into my uh, device and you see here Pandy now you got these two here so what I did was I pretty much uh, pressed the control and I 
grab these two and you right mouse button and you export to folder then the file explorer comes up and you look for this folder here and you throw them right in there see here they are and I threw them right in there right from iPhone 5 rooted it boom right into there okay and then I did the same with the others mobile substring all right let's go to that and I'll show you mobile substring and then dynamic libraries and then you go down and you see the only one that's you needed was the pandy right here pandy and you put you take that you right mouse button you add it to export to folder and you export it to this folder here now let's see the next one preference bundles so you got preference bundles and then you have to go into pandy bundles okay and you have it right here now in in on the iPhone it's pandy dot bundles but here you see that I wrote pandy dot bundle uh, spelled out the dot because if I don't then it won't be a folder anymore it'll be some sort of terminal app so just put it like that don't worry we'll change it when we import it into the iPhone 4 uh, because my wife wants the app and it's no longer available uh, it was pulled uh, maybe the developer had trouble with the law or they had trouble with other developers that didn't like the idea of uh, this happening so in here you have seven files that you have to save so basically you, you click here and you hit shift and you import all those export all those into this folder here and there it is all seven files there um, there's more to this than just copy and pasting you know exporting into the folders I gotta show you a couple other things so stay tuned uh, let me show you now here's preference folder okay so now if we go to preference preference load preference loader right that's here say preference loader and preferences um, you have to open up this don't worry about that other one that's just a shortcut and you open up preferences you'll see that I placed uh, that I will place uh, this one here and you right mouse and you export it to the folder and you export it to this folder right here and you see it's in there okay so once you you know set yourself up with all these stickies and all these folders and you root you know you go into your your root of your iPhone 5 or whatever iPhone you have uh, say it's on 6 point something and you have another phone that's like a iPhone 4 or even another iPhone 5 or maybe even an iPhone uh, iPod touch but I'm not sure but today's example is with the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 4 both running 6.1 uh, I don't know you know too much of the details you give it a try just be prepared to back up your device and uh, install you know like back it up and then you know you might have to do a restore it, it, it all depends on you I don't think this harms anything because I tried it before and it just really doesn't do anything it's benign you know so the end result is gonna be that now you know I don't have my wife's phone with me she went to work with it I made a video last night about it but I didn't like the quality of it so I I'm redoing it now so you, you pretty much you'll see the iPhone 4 show up just like this you click root and then you won't have any you won't have most of these folders like you won't have the pandy and, and my wife's phone was completely jailbroken uh, fresh completely you know right out of the box practically and, and then uh, you know jailbroken with evasion then mobile strub substring you might have these two folders in already if you have other apps that use it like all file uh, all mail uh, puts them in there and a couple other apps may throw them in there but if they're not in there and you go into your other device that's clean you you might have to add the make these folders. that's why I made them then you just drag this one into this and then you you know take the whole file and you click and drag it right into where you need it in the same place that the iPhone 5 keeps it and then the same thing here you you know you throw this one in here and then you drag the whole thing into where you need to go uh, just navigate using this little uh, file here and and these uh, hints right up here on these stickies and then when you're all said and done uh, you will restart your uh, device and then when the, the device restarts it's not quite ready yet you have to go into Cydia and you got to download a couple of other things and that's going to be uh, you know like Safari download 
and they, uh, what is it called? Let me look in here. You need to download a couple of other files to make this work because when you originally download Pandy, uh, you have to, it comes with other things that you need to download with it. It's not just the Pandy file with all the ones that I'm showing you here. It's also some other things that you might want to uh, install on top of it. So in other words, you need, um, you need, take a look at my phone. You need, uh, it's in here. Oh, these here, Gremlin uh, Framework. Let me make this full screen, I'll show you. You need Gremlin Framework, you need Gremlin Plugin Pack, and you need the GUI-GPG-SEC. And it doesn't hurt to install, um, and these, you know, you can get them. You don't even have to have special sources. You, it, you need to go in and get um, this one here. You need lib display. St no, you, you, know, you probably don't need that. Yeah, I'll do the laundry, don't worry. And then you need to, um, mobile substream, no, you don't need that. It's the Pandora downloader, of course, you're gonna get that so you can get the unlimited skips. And see, I have Pandy here, I'm one of the lucky ones. Uh, I hope my device doesn't mess up because then I'll have to do it this way to get it in. And then uh, the other one is Safari Download Enabler. Uh, put that in there too, and then pretty much that's it and if you get those in I think I wish I would have remembered exactly what it installed with Pandy uh, but I'm not a hundred percent sure and the only problem I'm running with my wife's phone after I did this process is that there is no settings app uh, I might have done something wrong but you know if you do it carefully and you pull all those files into there uh, I couldn't go have a settings app where I can go in and click the toggle so that it only records uh, the songs that I tap otherwise you're gonna record everything the end result of the iPhone 4 was that everything got recorded everything got thrown into iPod that's the same thing as having the toggle off uh, but if I can get the settings to work I could toggle it off so that I tap or swipe to dismiss uh, but the whole animations there and everything is and it works and I just want to show you but when I get my hands on my wife's phone I'm gonna uh, when she comes home from work I'm gonna make a second video just to show you or I might just take that one down and add it to the end of the video and then you'll see but I wanted to get this out here to let you know that all hope is not gone Pandy you can sideload it using the iExplorer or iFile and I have a nice little chart over here you can pause the video and see uh, and I'll put it in the description you could see what you know all the uh, files that you have to move and save and I recommend that you save it as a backup as well see like here I have a pandy backup folder and I have folder one and I have folder two and I pretty much saved the files and I'm gonna put it on like Dropbox for myself in case I ever need it and um, and then I'll have you know them for backup if my phone ever messes up I can do this and uh, when I figure out more stuff I'll you know update the video and uh, we'll be able to uh, have Pandy 0.0.5-2 on our devices so I hope you enjoyed this video please feel free to uh, comment and ask questions uh, you have to be confident about doing this and um, I will show you the iPhone 4 running uh, the Pandy on the Pandora and you're gonna say wow I guess you can silo apps now this is not only a lesson on how to get uh, Pandy but you can also silo other tweaks and apps from Cydia by doing this uh, you, like I said just go into that file system and uh, find out what you know what they're gonna install and where and then pretty much you know uh, and that's just for the for the app itself but there might be additional uh, tweaks and apps that get loaded on at the same time that you might need to run this fully uh, there might be some one of these little tweaks here that I'm missing uh, that's on here that that was installed with Pandy that I have to like throw on there maybe it's the lib display stack I have no idea it could be 
uh, the one that's action menu. I didn't have enough time and, uh, you know, I went to bed and, uh, you know, I just wanted to show you this. So uh, watch out for the next video or watch this video again, you know, uh, bookmark it or, or come back to my channel, uh, follow, and you'll see that, you know, I maybe updated the app or something like that uh, with the ending showing the iPhone 4. Uh, doing it, but I had to get this out because I want people to know and because uh, the 0 0.0.42 doesn't really work good on 6.0 uh, iOS 6.0 uh, because it just crashes it uh, crashes Pandora, but if you do this side low thing, it's gonna work out just fine So uh, tell me let me know what you think ask some questions make sure you follow because I'm gonna update the video constantly and uh, you know put some things in the description that you might be interested in but it's interesting to know that you can do this you can sideload uh, these tweaks and it won't really mess up your phone that much um, and that's pretty much it so I hope you enjoyed this video I know it's a little uh, you know not too in-depth but uh, don't worry I I'll do that so just make sure you follow and I will see you on my next video thank you